Right, this is a lecture titled Families of Sets, and it's a lot of definitions, um, but it should be a quite quick video. Right, Families of Sets. This is a set with elements which are also sets. So we, we write down a set with curly brackets, so you'll have curly brackets within curly brackets. A power set is the family of all subsets of omega, and it's written P of omega. Another definition is the semi-algebra. Now, F is a semi-algebra if the uh, empty set and omega are elements of F. These are your definitions, and you'll be asked to prove them uh, with certain numbers, which I've got an example of in a minute. And also, if A1 is an element of F and A2 is an element of F, then A1 intersect A2 is an element of F, and that's a semi-algebra. These are our last two definitions. A field or algebra, you can, it will be called different things. Now, F is one if omega is an element of F, A is an element of F, then the complement is an element of F. And for two elements, which are elements of F, so A1 and A2, then the union has to be in F. Right, a sigma algebra, and that's written sigma f, where f is our set. f is 1, if omega is in f, a is an element of f, then the complement's in f, and a i is an element of f, i is 1, 2, anything up to infinity. The union of all the different elements are an element of f. Yes? Right, a power set example. What is the power set of the following? So omega is 1, 2. Now the power set is all possibilities. So we have the empty set. It could have no poss nothing in it. So, um, it could also have everything. So we have omega. And it could also have 1 or 2. And of course if you wanted 1 and 2, then that is of course uh, omega anyway. So that's already in there. So it's just this. Again, we've got down here where omega is 1, 2, and 3. So we'll have the empty set again, omega, 1, 2, and 3 separately. See, we've got the curly brackets here. It means it's because it's a set. So it's a set in a set. It's a family of sets. Then we have the, we can have 1 and 2. We can have 1 and 3. We can have 2 and 3. So this is our power set. And that's a sigma field, or sigma algebra, whatever you want to call it. Either, either. We're in here. Right, this is our last example. Let omega equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a equal 1, and b equals 3. Then find the sigma field generated by the set a and b. Here, that's what that means. Or the sigma algebra generated by the sets a and b. Right, now first we have to have, as usual, the empty set and omega. I've laid this out a bit nicer. And then we have the elements on their own, so we'll have 1 and 3. Then we have the complements. I'll go back here and show you this. So we have um, the set, then we have the complements of everything. Because, of course, 0 is the complement of omega, isn't it? And nothing's complement of everything. And then we have to have the unions of everything in there as well. Where were we? Here. Complements of 1 is 2, 3, 4, 5. Complements of 3 is 1, 2, 4, 5. Then we have to have the unions. So we can have 1 union 3, and then we'll need the complements of that. So everything in here needs a complement. So 1 union 3, the complement of that will be 2, 4, 5. And that is our set. Because we, if, we, if we were to make the union of 1, 1, 3, that will just still be 1, 3. And the union here will be sigma. And that's the end of the video. I hope that made sense.